So normally we would pin them out with the awls through the arms, but I think the way they are, I don't think they need it. And what, and what type of frog is this? Though? This is a Rana Pipiens, um, which is an American grass frog. <clears throat> Collective noun for a frog is an army of frogs. And how we start off is just with the skin, we just make a small horizontal incision in the skin, like so. Once you have that, you will cut. I'm just going to turn it round, that's okay. We cut right up the middle, skin only, keeping the scissors as upright as possible, right away up to the throat. You can then cut down the sides, top and bottom. There. And then we can take the skin away from the side and see all the blood vessels in the skin. <clears throat> Same on the other side. Down the leg, down towards the arm. Generally, you can just peel it away mm -hmm. if it's been fixed. It's quite fragile, so there's not an awful lot of cutting that needs doing. Turn it round. This is what I call it six pack. You can see all those muscles. Looks like ninja. Ninja turtles. Mm, yeah. Again, exactly the same thing. We're going to make a horizontal snip in the bottom. Scissors upright. Trying to keep the scissors away from the organs. All the way up to the top. Keeping those scissors upright. And I can already tell we have a female. <coughs> Down to the side, down to the side. It's quite thick tissue, isn't it? This is muscle, this is muscle, muscle now, yep. There we go. And as we can see, as I said a minute ago, this is a female. These are all the eggs. Now, I was asked why the eggs are just sitting in the abdomen. And I believe that they would have been encased in a sack, uh, but the preservative solution has sort of disintegrated the sack. And that's why they look as though they're just floating around in the abdomen. So there we have a frog. So these are all the eggs. So this is obviously a female frog. Intestines here, here. Liver. Um, take all the eggs out so that we can get as you can see there are lots and lots of them absolutely packed wow, that's a lot of eggs. yep there's a huge amount of eggs but they will all be obviously have been in the ovary or ovaries so i'm going to just take out as much as possible so i guess the time of year that this frog was cold would probably be springtime because that's generally the mating season of the frog. Okay, I will leave it at that. So from there we can look at the three liver lobes. One, two, that's three. Great, yeah. We can snip the liver out very carefully. Go right up to the top. And I haven't probably gone far enough up, so I'll just take it out as best I can. So there we have the liver. 
And there we have the gallbladder. Looks like a shrunken pea. That's the gallbladder. Wow, it's quite big, isn't yeah. it? Compared to the rest of the organs. Um, <clears throat> the guts you can take out. They will, unfortunately, you won't be able to stretch them out again because they've been fixed. Um, they're going to stay all sort of curled up. And you see they've all been pushed to one side because of the, the eggs. So here's more of the gut up here. More eggs up there. It's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. So more of the gut here. That is the stomach. Um, if you're able to take the stomach out and cut it uh, vertically along there, you can open up and see if there's any food inside. Determine what it's been eating. And then these here are called fat bodies. So this is the, keeps the frog growing in leaner times. So these are fat bodies. Okay. Look at that. Get as far up as possible to, to, get the stomach to out. take the stomach out. And you see you can track all the way down to small and large intestine. Again, there's more of the intestine up here. So mm. a lot of it's been pushed out of the way because of the, the eggs. Um, the heart, three-chambered heart in the frog, is that organ just there. there. Just there. Yeah. And that is the heart. I'll try and take that out without... See, it's a almost a sort of typical shape of heart, but I'm not doing this very delicately, I'm afraid. I haven't cut up far enough. Up. Oh, I've made a bit of a mess of that. Okay, there's your heart. See, they so there are two atrium on there and one ventricle in the frog. Different. Yep. Um, that is generally, you should be able to find the kidneys round at the back. There's more fat bodies there. It's quite, there's a huge mm. amount of gut. The gut's so, huge. So, gut's massive. And so you should be able to see the kidneys at the back. You can see the spinal cord there. See, there's the, the gut going down to the anus, or the cloaca down here. There's, I can't quite see the kidneys, but there, there they are. Up down there, kidneys. Yeah. And then the lungs are actually quite interesting as well, as we can find those. Um, yeah, there they are there. Unfortunately, I've, I've cut through them, but those are the lungs there. That's one, that's the other. Oh, so I think I've taken, yeah, sure. I've taken out, um, I've taken them bit out with the, with the heart, I think. Um, yeah. And then, I'm not going to do it, but you can go on and take the, the muscles out. And then if you wanted to, you could cut the thigh bone in half and then look at the number of rings and work out how old the frog is. Nice. A bit like looking at a tree trunk. Okay. And obviously it's got massive webbed feet uh, for swimming, although frogs, yeah, frogs swim, toads tend to stay on land. Um, frogs have got teeth in the upper jaw. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this very easily. Frogs have got teeth on the upper jaw, uh, whereas toads don't have any teeth at all. Uh, they've got quite an interesting tongue. They catch, their, their tongue comes out a bit, they catch their prey. And they've got, um, their saliva is like a non-Newtonian fluid, um, which will be sticky, but hardens when they catch the insect. Also, when they eat, another interesting fact, 
is at the moment that looks quite flat because the eyeballs are in, but when a frog is, has their eyes open, they're quite bulbous. When they catch their prey, they squeeze their eyes back into their head to push the food down into the stomach. Nice. Thank you very much. All right. That's perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, right, here you are.